The board of the school district of La Crosse continues the conversation about reopening schools in the fall. If schools are able to reopen in person in September, parents will be able to choose whether to send their children for face to face learning or take a virtual option. And according to the superintendent, Aaron Angle, a survey indicated that 60% of families do support in person schooling. However, some families remain nervous about face to face learning and Angle reassured that safety is the district's top priority. I would like to say first and foremost that if it isn't safe to open and we're working closely with the county on that, then we will not reopen our school buildings. You know, our first concern is the safety of our students and our staff. It was noted that those who choose virtual schooling will make it easier for the district to accommodate physical distancing and also other health advice. But there are concerns that what happened last February will repeat this fall. Board member Jeff Meyer asked whether it might be possible for parents to choose to hold their children out for a year until things settle down. And according to Angle, state laws require compulsory attendance, but says the district is working with the DPI to see what that means under these circumstances. However, he did acknowledge that the rushed conditions in the spring semester left many people unsatisfied. One of the reasons why we're trying to get back face to face is we know that for a, a, a large proportion of our students, they, they did not learn online at the same time. You know, we have to follow the county's recommendations in terms of safety. You know, if we're not allowed to come back and reopen our school buildings, we can't reopen our school buildings. And I, I know that that will be very difficult for many of our students. And so we're taking the lessons that we learned from the spring and applying those to the fall. Opening in person entails a host of issues that require extensive planning, such as transportation, food service, instruction, giving parents a heads up on child care and other considerations. Angle noted that crunch time is rapidly approaching. He said the district intends to be ever flexible and adaptable. The district is working to flesh out details to be able to tell parents what both scenarios will be so they can make an informed decision. Now, one of the district's main focuses will be limiting community spread of COVID-19, requiring masks, physical distancing, shields, and other safety measures. The board also received the initial findings from a four-member group it created on July 6th, dubbed the Fund 80 Ad Hoc Committee. Now, this committee is gathering information on whether La Crosse schools should continue to have police officers as resource personnel in the schools. The report includes several stipulations, including requiring the superintendent to provide a recommendation to the school board regarding the SRO program no later than November 16th. If the board voted to modify or terminate the SRO program when its agreement with the La Crosse Police Department ends on June 1st, that would allow enough transition time, according to this report. SRO proponents insist that their presence in schools provides an element of safety for students, but on the other hand, opponents contend that the money could be better spent on personnel who have educational backgrounds similar to other school employees, like social workers, counselors, mental health crisis providers, and school nurses. Well,